In today's video, I'm going to show you two tools who are accessible worldwide and they are browse-based tools, which means they don't need an app like Discord to work and can generate some impressive images. All right, guys, the first tool we have on the list called Lexica. It is free and very simple to use. And as you can see, it is a browse-based tool, which means you don't need Discord on any other app like Midjourney. In my opinion, it is the best Midjourney look like and alternative. As you can see, here are all these amazing images that was created by users of this tool and they look very very impressive I mean the quality of uh, some of these pictures are like insane look at the quality man look at the quality of these pictures so if you like this image you can click on it and it gives you all the information related to the image here you're gonna find the prompt it was used to create the image a rocket about launch in Iceland you can copy the prompt and use it like experiment with it here it gives you the model which the photo was based on here we find the guidance scale the guidance scale and the dimension of the photos and as you can see it gives you four different versions of the same prompt and they all like full hd and the quality on these pictures are very very impressive so how to get started you click here on get started and then you sign up with your google then you're gonna find this search bar here we can search on any image let's say we want to search on images that have the word cat in the prompt as you can see it's very very fast and accurate all these pictures have the word cats in their prompts and there are a lot a lot a lot of pictures as you can see it gave me 1558 results which indicate that it's a very popular tool if you want to generate images with lexica you're gonna go to the generate tab here here you're gonna describe your image by writing your prompt and here you have the negative prompt which means which means the thing that you don't want to include your image for example i'll type in a cat with batman outfit uh, let's say sitting on a tall building here you're gonna find the options of the dimension to change the dimension as you can see this is wide and this is like uh, vertical and if you click on advanced setting you're gonna have the like the guidance scale which allows you to control the contrast as you can see we're gonna click on generate and as you can see it generated four different types of images that have a cat with a batman outfit sitting on a tall building as you can see it's very very accurate here's the cat here's the batman outfit here's the batman logo and the cat is sitting on a tall building how we know this these are the tall buildings so each image is exactly what i told him in the prompt for example let's say we don't want the black cat so in the negative prompt we're gonna tell him that in our image we want to exclude the black cat so this is my negative prompt now let's click on generate we're gonna wait for a little bit and as you can see it generated four images of a cat with a batman outfit but it excluded the black cat so i told him that i don't want the black cat in my images so you can have like a white cat yellow cat gray cat whatever any cat with a batman outfit except the black cat and as you can see the images look like very very good and the quality too is very impressive so let's change things up for a little bit i told him a rocket about to launch in iceland which we saw previously and i changed the dimension from vertical to wide and as you can see it generated four images of a rocket about to launch each image is different than the other one and the quality on these images are are decent and the cool thing you could do with lexica is after generating your four images you're gonna have all these four options to choose from for example you can generate variation which means that lexica gonna use this image as a reference to generate four different and new images based on this one or upscaling the image by adding more fine details or outpating it by generating a wider version of the image via outpating for example let's use this image as a reference to generate four different types of images click here on generate variation I'm gonna wait for it to the load and like magic it's gonna give me all these four different type of images and as you can see each of the four images are different from each other and at the same time they have something similar with the original and the reference image which is this one it's like an nft collection of the same object here it changed the color of the cat here it changed the it changed the logo of the batman 
here it changed both the color of the cat it added this color here and it changed maybe the color of the mouth as you can see and it changed this outfit here also it changed the outfit and the color of the cat and all the forecasts are in the same position sitting and looking right but it is like an nft collection as i said if you want to generate like a reference image of this image i'm gonna click here on generate variation and as you can see it gave me four different types of images each image is different than the other one this one doesn't have the logo here as the others have a logo here this one has an outfit a new outfit this one like the eyes are yellow here the eyes are uh, they have some blue here this one like this one the logo is different than this one this one has the logo this one doesn't have the logo you can also upscale the image for more fine details by clicking here it's gonna upscale it here so we can take a more depth look to the image and it looks very very good in my opinion and here the out paint image if you click here it's gonna give you a wider version of this image so this is the original zoomed image and this is the wider image as you can see so it gives me like more details so we can really see the environment around the cat this is a really really cool feature here you have the history of all the images we created here you're going to find the images that you've liked if you were browsing the home and you find like a image and you liked it you're gonna click here and this heart icon and the image will be added to this section in the likes you're gonna find it here and here in the account section you're gonna find the pricing of the tool they have like three plans the starter which is eight dollars per month the pro which is 24 per month and max which is 48 per month the starter allows you to generate 1000 generation per month don't worry about the subscription plans yet because the free ones actually allows you to generate 100 image per month so I think it will be enough for you it is a very very interesting tool so go around here find some images find some inspiration create some art play with the tool play with its settings add your creativity and uh, see what you got so the second tool we have on the list called instant art it is completely free and as you can see it is a browse based tool which means you don't need an app to access it you only need to sign up with your email and password and as you can see all these images were generated by users who have used this tool before and the cool thing is that each image has its own prompts shown here for example i really like this image if you click on this image you're gonna find the prompt it was used to generate the image dark skin outlaw futuristic gunslinger science fiction western bad boy hd and real engine 8k and here it shows you the model that it was used to generate the image and in this case it was mid journey and here we we're gonna find the guidance scale more on that later and here we're gonna find the dimensions of the image we can download the image we can save it as a favorite we can share it we can do all this cool stuff with it there are so many images to choose from here we can take inspiration from these images and the cool thing about this tool is the search bar here you can search images by prompt i really like this image i wonder what prompt it was used to generate the image as you can see native american indian horse knight portrait finely detailed armor silver silk cinematic lighting as you can see the lighting of the, the cinematic lighting 4k long hair here's the long hair blue eyes here we have blue eyes feathers as you can see so i'm going to look here for some inspiration let's see what we can do for example i really like this one we're gonna click on it and here we have the prompt a countryside house in a field of water high detail fine quality dramatic cloud formations training illustration sharp focus studio photo so I'm gonna copy this prompt, then I'm gonna go to generate. Then I'm going to paste the prompt here. So basically the prompt is the description of your image. And here you're gonna find the negative prompt, which are the things we want to exclude from our image. For example, we don't want trees in our image. We're gonna type here tree. And here we can play with the settings. We have the dimension and there are lots to choose from. As you see, square, portrait, landscape. I'm gonna leave it on landscape one. And here we have the model ID which the tool will use to generate our image. We have the stable diffusion, anything V3, mid journey V4, wave diffusion, wave diffusion. We have a lot to choose from. I'm gonna leave it as stable diffusion. And here we have the guidance scale, which is the amount of contrast in your photo. I'm gonna leave it in the middle. And here we have the number of images. I'm gonna create three images. And we're gonna click on generate. Now we're gonna wait for a little bit to generate. 
It might take some time. This is the only downside of this image, but it is a free and browse based so I can't complain really. And while it's generating, I'm gonna go back to the home page and take a look at other images. Look at that. This is amazing man. Look at that, look at the details. As you can see, the prompt here says Anthro male red fox deer antlers tail digi great hooves it's like giving him like details about the image bags on belt okay photo realistic okay realistic full body okay it's full body evergreen forest it is green forest okay grass dirt there's the grass nature it is on the nature flowers mm, i don't see flowers here but clearing valley i don't see a valley cliff okay stone there's stones boulders path clouds okay there is some clouds here blue sky okay it's a day afternoon so the image is not at night it is uh, obviously on day it is a bear or a like a body of a man but the head is like a bear and the arms as you can see they're covered with hair the legs too they are covered with hair hair like not normal hair white hair and and as you can see here are the hooves I mean look at the details of the image he asked for the hooves here's the hooves he asked for like bags on belt here's a belt he asked for a full body here's a full body he asked for evergreen forest here's the evergreen forest it's very very impressive tool it's really like mid journey and you are on discord like seeing other people's work so it's not that different but this one is free and as you can see the details are mind-blowing here we have a cat nearly cat knight okay portrait Finely detailed armor, intricate design, silver, silk, cinematic lighting 4K. Look at the details of the image. This is really, really, really impressive. Now, after waiting for a little bit, it generated me three images, as you can see, of a countryside house in a field of water. As you can see, here's the house, here's the water. It is a high detailed, dramatic cloud formations. Here we see the clouds sharp focus studio photo so it was pretty accurate except of the negative prompt it didn't work here i don't know why i told him to exclude the tree but obviously he didn't exclude the trees here we can see the trees but besides that the photos looks very impressive and the quality on this photo is not bad and that's it for today's video Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos just like this one. And uh, don't forget to use this tool. The link will be in the description. Play around this tool. See what you can come up with. Create some art. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.